Hey friends, welcome back to your weekend edition of Hot News. In case you're not familiar with what we do on the weekends, everything's a little bit shorter, a bit more concise, only focused on a few articles as opposed to a wide swath of information. So that's what you're gonna get today, but not until I give you the existential question of the day, which is going to be, how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? I knew it. How? I need the answers. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Jane Smith a true legend of our time. Let's go ahead and move on into the hot news, which is, if in case you hate your iPhone and you think it's so locked down that it's pathetic and you're tired of Apple's sandbox of rummaging you into a little quarantine area of making sure you can't use the apps and things that you want, well, developers have come out with Android for the iPhone. This is called Project Sandcastle, as opposed to Apple Sandbox, and it's being developed by a company called Corellium, who is currently being sued by Apple for selling things that Apple says they have a copyright on, and Corellium says no. So that's happening. Anyways, the developers from Corellium are making it so that you can put Android on an iPhone. The reason this is complicated is because while typically Android phones all share some sort of ARM-based processor, and that's something that happened with the Nintendo Switch since it was based on the Tegra SoC, which NVIDIA makes Android tablets on that same Tegra SoC, Android could be easily ported over to the Nintendo Switch. But with Apple, everybody's in the dark. There's not a lot of public information out there about the Apple SoCs that go into each and every one of those iPhones. So they've been reverse engineering it from the ground up. And currently, unfortunately, only the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are supported on making sure that you can get Android running. However, that doesn't mean that they're not working on all of them. If you take a look at their webpage, you can currently see what is working and what is not working on the various different iPhones. So the iPhone 7 clearly has the most support, but there's still things that are pretty big, such as the GPU doesn't work, the audio doesn't work, and cellular doesn't work. So you can't use it as an actual phone at this point. So it's still very much in beta, but in case you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you can download it right now and make it so that it runs on your iPhone in case you want to. And they're gonna continue moving forward with the project to make it so that it does support potentially all iPhones that are out there. Again, this is gonna be, this is a monumental task for them to find a way to back engineer Apple's SOCs. This is like phenomenal stuff that they're doing. So in case you want Apple to fall, and make sure that they're not sandboxing you in anymore. Maybe consider supporting these guys and just uh, uh, sending them a positive message. And then let's talk about more bad news, at least from Apple's perspective, because it was found by a federal court that they upheld the ruling that they need to pay the money in the patent lawsuit against Caltech or Caltech against Apple and Broadcom. We talked about this in a previous episode of Hot News a while back that Apple and Broadcom were found infringing on patents from the California Institute of Technology, and that would cause them over a billion dollars. Apple said, hey, we don't want to pay that much. And the court said, suck it up, pay it anyways. So there you go. Speaking of our last little bit of Apple news, Apple's major vendor, Foxconn, who helps them in developing a lot of stuff that goes into the iPhone, they have come out and said that because of Voldemort, they lost $1.6 billion in revenue in February. Whoo! That's a big cash loss. Then let's talk about a little bit more about phones. TCL unveiled some new concept devices. We already previously talked about the leaks of these. One of them was a phone that you kind of pull out and the screen like rolls out. It's kind of cool. They, it, I don't understand it. And then they also had a dual folding phone, which creates like a triple screen scenario that folds in. People are calling it a tri-fold and I hate it so much because there's only two folds. It, it folds like this and then the other side folds like that. That's two folds. Where are you getting the trifold from? There's no three folds. <laughs> Fold it again. Fold it again, snap it in half. Anyways, these are cool phones from TCL. Obviously, TCL is not known for making phones. Currently, they're more known for their TV manufacturing, but we'll see if these ever actually come out. These were supposed to be unveiled at Mobile World Conference, which obviously got canceled due to Voldemort. So we'll see where that's going. And then lastly, let's talk about Sonos, which is a premium brand or a brand that you pay a lot of money for and it's kind of like Apple. That's why I included in this like Apple segment. Anyways, Sonos has finally acquiesced to the requests of not bricking their devices. They, this was coming out of the fact that they were having a trade up program where they would give you 30% off a new device from Sonos. But in order to do that, you had to put it in recycle mode, which would permanently brick your speaker and you wouldn't be able to use it anymore. Well, now they say, just give us the serial number and we won't brick your speaker. A uh, duh, you should have, what? The, Sonos, you suck. I hate you. Don't do this stuff. This is bad. Bad Sonos. Okay, you don't, you anti-consumer. Thank you for fixing it. 
But who thought this was a good idea in the first place? Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode of Hot News mini episode. Thank you so much for tuning in on the weekend. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to answer the existential question of the day, which is how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? How? Bye. games on your phone you got games on your phone what you got games you don't you guys have games don't you have phones